So in today's video, we're going to be passing XLSX files, or also known as Microsoft Excel files. And today I'm going to be showing you how to convert it into XML and JSON as well. So the data we have here today is the first name, last name, gender, country, age, date, and an ID. And we're going to be adding a value. And we're also going to be, of course, reading this data. And so we can go ahead and actually convert it into different formats. I have two sheets in here. I have a second sheet down here with essentially the same data. So let's go ahead and go into node and I will go ahead and show you how to actually pass this data here. So in node, the first thing we want to go ahead and do is to import FS and then we want to go ahead and import XLSX and JSON to XML. Now, technically you only need this package here. This one, I'm going to be showing you why we are going to be using this one here. And this you only need if you want to go ahead and convert the JSON into XML. The next line here is just reading in the file. And here there's two different ways of doing it. You can go ahead and read it in using FS and then passing it into XLSX. Or you can go ahead and make XLSX read the file. The next line here is just an empty object where we're going to be storing this sheet once we have loaded it in. And here we're going to be looping through each sheet name in the sheet. Once we have each name of the sheet, then we can go ahead and convert that into JSON and put that into our sheet subject. You can see that there's also a lot of different other formats we can go ahead and convert these different sheets into. We can convert it to CSV, TXT, HTML, JSON and this here, which I'm not quite sure what it is. But in this case, I want to convert it to JSON because we can pretty much convert JSON to any other format. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and see the data that we got. Okay, so you can go ahead and see down here that we have the data. This is essentially just the whole object as JSON. I know it's a bit small for those of you on mobile, but just know that this is the data in JSON form. All right, the next line here is just going to show that same data in XML. All right, so this is the same data in XML. I know, again, it's a bit small for those of you on mobile, but just know, again, that this is the data in XML. Now let's go ahead and actually modify the data by adding a new entry. So we're going to be adding this new entry here to the first sheet and I will be adding the value first name Bob, last name Bob, the gender male, the country USA, the age 35, and then this date here with the ID. You can also go ahead and add new rows. So if the row doesn't already exist by that name, then it will actually go ahead and add a new row if you type a name that is not there. But of course, we'll have to go ahead and save this. So that's what the next line is going to do. So let's go ahead and actually update that sheet. So all you want to go ahead and do is convert that sheet back into XLSX. And then you can go ahead and add that data to the sheet. Oh, that's actually a pretty good point. And the reason why we're getting this error is because the file is open, so you will have to have the file closed. Let's try and run this again. And now the file has been updated, so let's go ahead and see the new data. All right, and you can see that we have a new row, plus we have our new value here. And it only happened in the first sheet. There you go, the second sheet has not been modified only the first one. And let's remember to close that. We can also go ahead and create a new file with the new values. And we do this like this. We create a new book. And then we just do the same line here as we did up here. But we just add it to a new sheet. Then we append that sheet to that book under that name. And then we write it to a new file here. Let's run that. And right here, we have a new sheet with the new values.
So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.